<sighs> this is what I wake up to. Looks like a perfect day for a road trip. Oh no, Buck, get out of there. Come on, come here, Buck. Let's get to it. Buck, you're crazy. It's like raining out there. Come on, stay in the garage here. Uh-oh. You know what? I just realized which truck I left outside. My poor GMC. You should be inside. Hmm, whatever. All right, so it's already outside. Buck, are you gonna come in the garage or what? Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll, I better feed Buck. This I'm gonna have to run out here and do this quick. Oh man, this rain feels like hail almost. You're crazy. Come on, Buck. Just. You want me to take your bowl? Buck, you want me to take your bowl? Put it in the garage? Oh, okay, okay, Buck. Uh, whoo. Man, don't take Buck's bowl. Whoo, man. He's dangerous. All right, let's get out of this rain and get over to our garage. It's good to be in a nice dry cab. Oh, watch out, Buck. Like I said, I let the garage door open for you. All right, let's get over here. So I have big plans. So I'm actually kind of happy it's raining because I get to go for a road trip. So my aunt has a neighbor, good friend of hers, that recently came upon a lot of money. Uh, he lives out in the country, just built a nice new house, new log cabin, just beautiful. But uh, I'm talking inside because it's raining. So basically, the wifey, his wife wants that the old barn back there tore down. So he has kept a lot of old equipment that was just around the farm when he purchased it and just shoved it in the barn. So basically, uh, he would like me to come down there, see what I'd give for all that equipment. And then he is basically just going to bulldoze the rest into the ground because the wife doesn't want the barn anymore. So, uh, this is an important mission, so I really want to get this truck. So I'm going to put this truck into our garage here so we can work on it quickly. Let's walk in here. All right, I'm going to open this door. Hopefully I can just uh, run my truck right in here. Got a plan for my GMC. gonna be tight fit. Uh oh. Man. Don't know. Ooh. Man. Looks like I'm gonna have to move my tractor. Start. Thought I could squeeze it in there. And I thought wrong. That's what I get for thinking. Back this up right here. It's like a good spot. Lower that loader. Oh, a little bit too much. All right. Whoa. Uh Whoa, oh, that was kind of close. Good thing I stopped. I'm going to try to push it over here by our uh, seed trailer, fertilizer trailer, whatever you want to call it. All right, so you guys are probably wondering, what am I going to do? So I put this hydro bed on this truck, and it's just a little bit too high, uh, pulling and everything. So I 
So one, because if it has a hydro bed, I want it to be a dually. So this is a one ton truck, but I'm gonna put a extra couple leaf springs. I'm gonna take the lift off of here. So I'm gonna have to put some new uh, shocks on it. Uh, the axle is already a one ton, so I'll just have to basically take them leaf springs off, put the right fitted leaf springs on, uh, put a couple more leafs on there, so it'd be a little bit heavier than a one ton, and then lower it, put a uh, dually on it. Hopefully, I don't look, I don't ruin the cool look, because uh, it's pretty cool looking, I think, right now. I mean, that thing, to me, looks mean, but I just don't want, I think a dually would be better with uh, the hydro bed, because uh, these tires take a lot of pressure when there's two almost uh, one ton bales on there so let's see I have all the pieces I need that came in just have to find where they're at I think they're upstairs so I'll get them all right so got a floor jack under there now I just have to take off these tires loosen these bolts first all right, move that floor jack out of the way, and here we go. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous I lost the cool look. I really needed this dually, so I put some extra leaf springs so we can easily put some heavy loads on there. But the good thing, we are ready for a road trip, because I want to take this thing across the country, go s see my aunt there quickly. I just uh, think I lost the cool look of it might have to change it back I don't know but we this time I don't know if you guys remember the last time we went to my aunt's I did not come prepared so this time I think I'm gonna pull this old girl across the country so uh, I got the forklifts on here in case we need to move anything and I, I mean, this little loader should get into tight spaces. I was really considering taking my uh, skid steer here, but uh, if I have to pull something out, well, I guess I could put a hitch on the front of this. Hmm. Hmm. Don't really want to take both because that's a lot of room on the trailer. I'm going to take the tractor. I'm just going to go with it. So I'm going to take these spears off of this, so I'll do that quickly, and then I'm going to take the tractor and load it up. Ugh. Get this loaded up as quick as possible. Get it on the road. So I'm going to leave this towards the back for now, and I'll strap it down right there. I just hope it's not raining over there in Wisconsin because, ugh, man, that is not going to be a pleasant experience. I got a long drive ahead of me. All right. All right, our truck's doing good. We're on our way. We got a long drive to go today. Hmm. Wonder if I can make it without stopping. Yeah, I don't think this gas tank will do it. Never know. We'll see though. Oh man, have I had a long drive. Finally here. So excited to see this barn. Man, am I excited. 
Oh, whoa, 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 buddy. Man, are you. That guy is going with some speed there. All right, make sure I make that turn. Stay into the road here. Driving this beautiful state. Hmm, got a old Chevy truck over there, repair truck. That's nice. I'm, so I'm trying to fig remember where my uh, aunt lives. So I need she's gonna give me directions to her friend or neighbor whoever you want to call him I uh, think he lives around here fairly close I'm not for sure so oh, what do we have here oh purple truck Is that truck purple that looks familiar I don't know why but that looks familiar Whoa! Holy cow, did you see them go by? That was driving with some speed there. Oh, I'm having a little bit of troubles getting up this uh, hill here. Looks like we got it going. Man, I, don't, I might have to ask the farmer around here where my aunt lives. I know, it's kind of embarrassing. I kind of forgot. Wait a second. I think that's their barn over there. Yeah, I'm going to have to find a way to turn around up here. Yeah, that, that looks like her barn. Good thing I'm riding on a high hill point right here. I can just look down there and see it. So... I'll just have to go down there a little ways. Oh, we'll take a turn. What the heck? You see that guy? Make sure I make my turn wide enough there. Oh, look at that nice little farm they have going over here. Oh, that is some good looking farm machinery. Hopefully we can turn into my aunt's place. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, look at them fatties on there. Ooh, wow. I'm going to drive off the road looking at that pretty thing. Alright, I think I can just pull off into our driveway here. This might be a challenge. Ooh, come on. Oh, yeah. You could do it. Whoa. Woo. Man. Uh oh. I don't know if I want to take that hill. Yeah, I better walk from here. Woo. Man, this will get you winded just walking up this hill. Man, I gotta come out here and uh, do some work for my aunt. Smooth this out. This is just horrible. Horrible. Alright, hopefully I don't see a car. I hope she's home. Alright, so I figured out where it is. It's not that far. It's just right down the road over here. So, if... Uh, if I'm flying where a crow flies here, it's just basically right in line here. So I need to go down the road, take a right, and uh, well, I think I have to backtrack too. So we'll have to go a little ways, but hopefully I can figure out where it's at now. Now, hmm. How do I get out of here? I think I'm going to try to back it up right over here and then try to test my luck going the other way. Oh, there's a chopper running down that road there. Man, look at that. Blacked out cab and everything. Pretty good looking, I think. Alright. 
Definitely got to use my trusty mirrors now. Gotta kick it hard. Not too hard so we don't jackknife. Let's see. Yeah. Make sure we watch out for that tree. Ah, oh, that was that hard. Oh, oh. If we can stop, that is. Whew. Man. I got a big trailer this time, making sure I can get everything I could possibly get. And, uh, I think I went too big. Oh, oh, oh. I was about ready to pull out. Whoa. Looky at that beautiful thing. I want one. Oh, man. That thing is good looking. Good thing I didn't pull out in front of him. Would have had eight tires running over my hood. Alright, so... Whew, come on, old GMC. Get up this old hill. Nothing to her. Watch out for livestock. Oh, there is a little, uh, what is that, dairy or feedlot? Must be a feedlot. Ooh. Uh oh. Now I'm in a predicament can't remember which one of these roads I was supposed to go on. Think this is the road? Uh, I hope this is the road anyways. She said there would be houses off of it. Oh man. Pretty sure I took the wrong road. Yeah, I'm supposed to be over there. Not on top of that little mound, but on the other side of that. Hmm. Yeah. Uh-oh. This is a really hard left. Let's take it all wide here. Well, it's not too wide. Hard left, I guess. Make sure I miss that right there. All right. Oh, 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 definitely got a turn here. There we go. think I'm on the right road now. I think we may be close. Whoa, 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 whoa. That guy is literally the most crazy driver I know. Oh, yeah, this got to be it. Set a huge new log cabin. Uh oh. Can we get in the driveway? That's the next story. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Uh oh. Wow. Uh oh. I'm just barely beating the excavator. I guess. Uh. Yeah, I guess we'll uh, sit here. Seems kind of quiet. Whoa, whoa! Are you kidding me? Who is this? Did you see that air on there? This guy is crazy. So I guess he doesn't want to be on camera, but you wouldn't believe it. He's gonna let me drive his beautiful GTR. The way he drives this thing, uh, oh man, I'm a little bit nervous. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure I should at least have an eight-point harness or something or a helmet. Oh, man. He said, it, no problem, just go take a drive. Look, he even scraped the dirt there. Man, I can't even believe he uh, abuses this car. He must be made of money. Now that sounds like it has a little cojones in it. Back this thing up. Oh man, 
accidentally push. Oh man, this is a touchy pedal right here. Whoa, 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 yeah, here we go. Oh, I'm all over the road. Oh. Wow, this thing is fun. barely even stopped in time and this thing has some brakes it definitely has some cojones whoo man whoo yeah man that, that makes my hand shake that is so fast so he wants to show me around this house, man. This house is crazy. Wow. A huge open floor plan. Fireplace. Man. I don't know if... I think my neck would hurt a little bit too much looking that high up. I mean, let me sit down on his couch here. I mean, look at that. Yep, my neck hurts already. Beautiful paintings, though, on the walls. Man. Now look. Now that is a bed. Huge gun safe. Man, I gotta get some house like this one day. This is how you know you made it, right here. look at that kitchen now this is like a bachelor pad on steroids because you just got one huge bedroom one huge bed huge kitchen yep a nice nice place I don't want to snoop too long I guess he wants to show me his cars in here man it's got a garage too. What? Look at that crazy thing. Wow. Is that a ZR1? What? Whew. Now that is a Corvette right there. And ground effects. Man. Look at the interior of this thing. Man, you feel like you're wearing spandex pants or something in here. Wow. That is beautiful. Ooh. I think he left his lights on, but that thing... Now that is a car. This has big slicks on it. Whew. A huge antenna for some reason. Oh, it's modeled after the General Lee, huh? Man. Ooh, look at this beautiful interior. I just gotta start it up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho. Oh, man. Man. Now you can... Wow. You can sure t hear this thing coming up on you. Man, I want to drive it. Ooh, wow. Look at that big serpentine belt on this thing. Man, that thing is a butte right there. Butte. Alright, so... Time for the task at hand. So he wants me to clean out his barn as best as I can so I guess uh, he bought this piece of land right here and started developing it he just wanted to live out in the country he didn't like the city at all can't really blame him that's for sure uh, but basically uh, he built this house and everything and this used to be an old farm so he bought everything on the farm so all these old buildings came with the farm he has an old payloader right here. He says it doesn't run. That thing is new, that's for sure. So apparently he's waiting to tear this barn down. 
So, basically, it's going to be tore down tomorrow, and the company left this thing, so we have to get this stuff out of here. So, whatever we don't take, he's basically, uh, he's not going to destroy, but he is going to leave it on the side, tear the barn down. He just doesn't want the barn. He just wants a nice open area here. What do we have in here? Look at all this stuff. Oh, he's got a uh, old John Deere cedar here. Whew. Look at that thing. That thing's seen its day. Oh, a little uh, hay rake. A little hay bond. Or uh, this is an old time hay rake. Uh, wheel powered hay rake. You can see the wheel over there has a little gear or a little uh, gear shaft on it turns there. <gasps> is this a Trans Am? Pontiac. Look, it even has the eagle on top. What? You kidding me? No. I wonder if he'll sell this thing. Man, I hope he sells this thing. Alright, he has a Ford 3600. Now, uh, this got some rust on it. So he said he found this out in the wheat in the tree. This was just, you know, pushed back in the trees. He just brought it in here just so it would basically uh he basically had to push it in here. Same with the Trans Am. So he has a old water tank, man. Old water tank that's definitely seen its day. What do we have back there? We got something big back there. Big monster. Oh, we got a uh, old head here, it looks like. Really old time head. Yeah, that's a good looking head there. What is this? This old carburetor, is that? I don't even know what I'm looking at here. This is old time. That's an old radiator set there. Must be. Man. This wouldn't be that bad. I mean, if nothing else, we can use it for lawn art. Man, I bet that thing weighs a ton. I gotta get behind here and see what this thing is behind here. Wow, that's a V8 in this thing. Dual pipes and everything. Look at that grilled front end radiator. Whoo! Beautiful. Man, that is one beast of a V8. I bet that's like 14, maybe 15 liter engine. That thing is a huge. Versatile 900. So these were made sometime in the 70s, I believe. They came out. Going over the assembly line. Looks like it has eight remotes humongous draw bar I mean it just has singles on it right now but man if we could find another set of uh, duels all the way around we could have a great articulating tractor pretty plain interior here uh, looks like everything's pretty normal looks like you have a standard uh, gear shift down there so it's almost like running a semi and got a big old diesel engine that's for sure all right what do we have I got to look in this uh, old Trans Am here what we got some old smokes down there lucky strike this thing man oh, I gotta ask him so the guy's name is Billy so I'm gonna go ask Billy if he whoo man this thing I wouldn't mind taking this Trans Am home. I, I don't know if this runs. I just, uh, the keys aren't even in it. Hmm. Open this up. What? We got a little skid steer here. I wonder why he I guess he's keeping that all up. 
Now that wouldn't be a bad old little skid steer. I don't know if we could fit that. Maybe we can put this on the truck. Might have to try. Alright, so the Versatile is going home for sure. Hopefully we can get that transmission fixed on it. Use it. I really want this Trans Am just because midlife crisis or whatever. You guys can make fun of me, but I really want it. I really do. Alright, that. We already talked them into the rake. We want the Ford. Kind of want to mine a little green over here. Little green. Little green. Yeah, we're going to call them little greeny. Alright. Let's see what we can do for all these together. Man. Oh, oh, man. So. I feel like I might have got a little bit robbed there, but I paid $22.5 for everything. For everything I just talked about. That is the car. The two little tractors there. The rake. This big monster. What's up, baby? And little green here. Alright. Oh, man. We finally got this thing up the hill here. So we got that out of the garage. We got everything out of the garage for him. So basically, he, this, uh, the rest of this stuff is all junk. Nothing worth keeping in there. So uh, all his nice items are out of the garage. So he's. Tomorrow, when his excavators come, they could just tear that all down. I am going to have to end up... Shut that thing off. I just realized. I'm going to have to leave my uh, little Massey here. Oh. Yeah, I don't have room for my Massey either. Oops. Kind of didn't plan that very well. In the versatile, so I'll have to pay somebody. Or I'll bring a semi down here and just come pick these up sometime. But I think we are about ready to take off here. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later. Here in Wisconsin? Or Missouri? Yeah, Missouri. 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 See you later. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.